Hi, I'm Nate Johnson, owner and head trainer at Steel String Training, where we believe in prehab, rehab, and doing what you thought was impossible. Nate, you say intermittent fasting is so good. You recommend it to pretty much everyone. But I'm just like, hey, if I don't eat breakfast, I'm going to be so hungry. I hear that all the time, all right? Hunger gets thrown around a lot. You know, don't let your body get hungry. If you're hungry, your body's eating your own muscle. It's not true, all right? So here's the deal. Hunger is not as big of a deal as we've made it out to be. So the first thing I want to talk about is what even causes hunger. Now, if you are starving, um, you truly are malnourished, you're not getting enough food, if you're hungry, please eat. However, if you have internet access, if you're watching my video, you're probably not starving when you're hungry. You probably have plenty of calories, you probably got plenty of food on your plate at night. Um, so, if you're hungry and that's the case, you don't need to worry about it so much. So what causes hunger? Well, there are several things, um, but one of the biggest things that when people push back against the intermittent fasting idea is that, Nate, when I wake up, I'm starving. Well, guess what? So was I um, for years and years and years. The reason is we wake up and we eat breakfast every day, okay? You, same reason you get hungry around lunchtime, same reason you get hungry around dinner time. Um, for those of you who snack, you're going to get hungry around snack time too. The reason is your body produces a hormone called ghrelin and it tells you when you are hungry. Now, if you're malnourished and starving, you're going to be hungry probably all the time and that means you need to eat. However, for those of us who you know get hungry around the same times each and every day, that's ghrelin telling us, hey, you normally eat here. Um, I'm kind of set up on a routine here, so I'm telling you you're hungry, and then we go eat. Now, what you don't know, and what I'm about to tell you, is that you can actually reprogram um, your body to get hungry um, at any point during the day. So what happens is when you start, what I recommend is people slowly start pushing breakfast back. I don't recommend that they just make this jump in one day and just cut breakfast out. They're probably going to feel like crap if you do that. What I do recommend is taking your breakfast and just slowly scooting it back, scooting it back, maybe eating less and less um, until maybe you're drinking a cup of coffee and a protein bar and then eventually the protein bar is gone and you're just drinking coffee in the morning, you're good to go. But what happens is during this time, your body will adjust to the fact that you're not eating in the mornings and then you won't be hungry anymore. It's truly amazing. I promise it works every time. All right. So hunger is not really an issue. Um, yeah, so the, like I said, the other reason you could be hungry is if you're malnourished and starving. If that's the case, eat. But for most of us, if you're watching this video, you probably got plenty of food, you're not starving, you're not malnourished, you're fine. So, just give it a shot. Just slowly, slowly push breakfast back. Don't jump to an extreme. Don't just cut it out, especially if you're eating 1,000 calorie breakfast every day or whatever. Just slowly wean yourself off of breakfast, and what will happen is your body magically adjusts because your ghrelin levels adjust and so you won't be hungry during breakfast time anymore. So, hunger is no longer an excuse for you to not try intermittent fasting.